top 5 common reasons for a check engine light. So here are 5 common reasons. Now I could also give you 50 common reasons but that still don't help you because we need to find out why check engine light is on for your particular car. For that we will have to connect to our ECU and read fault codes. I bought this tool for literally 5 euro so anyone can buy it, it's not expensive. All you have to do is turn off engine, switch key to run position so you will see your dashboard lights. Now you need to find your OBD2 port. In most cases it will be under steering wheel or in entire fuse box. In this case it is right here under this cover. Now we are connected and you know that because your radio starts. It doesn't have any battery so if it starts you are connected. So we have only one code. That means code start is also responsible for my check engine. Go to read codes and now we have a reason for my check engine light. This is how you find out why your check engine light is on. In my case it is PO444 Evaporative Emission System Purge Control Valve Circuit Open. So now I know why my check engine light is on, but how do I actually fix it? First we have to understand what could be causing this fault code. For that go to imcarhacker.com. Okay, I will input my code PO444. Press search, we have description, we already know that, but here is possible causes. Open circuit in the purge control valve, faulty purge control valve or wiring issues and diagnostic steps. Now if you are new to this, these diagnostic steps can be confusing because it involves using some other features on OBD scanner and also using some electrical testing equipment like digital multimeter. However, to get you started and fix your codes yourself, I have this free PDF that teaches basics of using OBD scanners and electrical testing equipment. You can download it for free, below the video there is a link. So you will be able to actually diagnose these fault codes and don't have to rely on mechanics with every little job. Now in my case what is causing this problem is first cause open circuit in purge control valve because I actually unplugged sensor so I have some check engine light and can make this video for demonstration. So I will now go ahead and plug my connector back. Now last step is to clear the code. Even though I fix my problem, I can start my car and I still have check engine light. And the reason why I still have check engine light is because my ECU needs some more time and more driving to determine that this code is no longer present. Maybe if I did one, two, three drives, including engine off, the check engine light should eventually go away by itself. But we can also use our code reader. You already have this because you need to read codes. So I can also show you how to erase them. For that once again, turn off engine, switch key to run position. Just go back, erase codes, press OK, yes. And just like this, codes have been erased. So now when I start car, check engine light will disappear. I see a lot of videos on YouTube like 5 or 10 most common causes for check engine light but you have more than 3000 OB default codes that could cause check engine light so it is hard to determine and it is better to invest in one of these code readers. I mean this I bought literally for 5 euro on Aliexpress so and I actually tested a lot of these tools. If you want to see my top recommendations, page on my website where I recommend the best OBD scanners will be also linked in the description. And don't forget to download the diagnostic PDF. It will help you to diagnose more complex faults than this. 